Hi, welcome back to the Corona Learning Series. I'm Diego Cordero and I'm the BI Lead and Data Strategist at Profusion. Today we'll be looking at Sysense blocks and specifically how to create custom actions. With blocks actions, you can add open buttons that open a URL that create dashboard filters. Actually, you could create custom filters. You can create a, put a button that jumps to another dashboard. You can submit forms and you can create custom actions, which is what we'll be looking at today. So let's jump to the demo. On this demo dashboard, we show all the pops in the UK. We can see that the no total number of pops is 51,566. We can see the average no pops per local authority and the average rating. And it's important to say that this rating is fake. It's just a random number. Uh, so so don't use this to guide your pop choice for tonight. Um, we can see how a map with a density per location. So you can see that London, Birmingham and Leeds, uh, Manchester have tons of pops um, and some other places have less pops. Um, you can see the number of pops per uh, local authority. You can see the pops per person in each local authority, so City of London has lots of pops per person. I can see persons per pop, so cities that have, or local authorities which have less pops. Um, on this widget, I've implemented the jump to dashboard feature, which is an official Sysense add-on, and it allows you to, to add a sub dashboard to your dashboard. So let's jump, for example, into Brighton, and we click jump to drill. And on this dashboard here, we have, we can see that the Brighton and Hove has been filtered out. We can see the average rating, the number of total pops. And here we have a slider with a ranking for every pop in Brighton. Now this one is Brighton and Hove Club Bar. Uh, this doesn't sound like a pop, but it's uh, it turned out to be number one in our randomness. As you can see, we have the slider with different pops. Now. What we want to do is add another button, uh, a new button, sorry, that will jump to Google Maps and show you the way to, to get there. So here on our drill dashboard, we're going to go and edit our blocks widget, which where we're going to add the action and we're going to add it here. But first we need to create the action. As you remember from the last video, here we have the snippets for the different kind of actions. Uh, but what we need is a custom one so we can go and create a new action and you can see here we have a, a sample code and a comment above that can, tells you what you need to what you need to get um, in this case you need to get the payload object so if we print that object we can add it here as test button we can copy that and create and if we add that here we will see that by clicking it we get a payload object and you can see that here we have a results object and then all the list inside results matches the names that we have here so you can add whatever text you need from there or value, which in this case would be the same. Um, that way we can create an action that gets the, that object and creates whatever action we want. So let's create uh, an interesting one, which is the Google Maps button. So we can create, we'll get rid of that. And we're gonna get const pub equals payload the result as we see, saw the object and then we can get the name and then text and then we add the address equals payload dot result dot address dot text perfect now we need to create a URL that's constant URL equals and here I have the URL that we need 
which is a, a Google Maps URL with the coordinates for the office. And then we add the pub. And then we add a space. And then we add the address. And well, the last bit is just window dot open. Oh, open the URL. No, URL is a parameter. And we name that as Google Maps. Next. And we have our button. Create. And then we can replace our te test button with the Google Maps one. And instead of title, we can go right go now. And let's apply. And to test that, let's go to the eagle, which sounds more like a pub. Go now. And as you can see, here we have the, the instructions to go from the office to the pub in Brighton. And probably those pints are worth it. So that is it for today. And thank you so much.